And you mentioned that this was a fence-mending sort of trip yes, yeah, from the was. White House press corps perspective. Well, let, it was. It was it, for instance, yeah. it, was, it was so trivial. We were trying to find out, one of the big investigative projects of the trip was to find out where Ralph Yarborough was going to sit in one of the limousines in a motorcade <laughs> because the Connollys apparently didn't okay. want him with them, which, as, as the rumor went. Right. So they had to find a place for Ralph to be up front and be well, welcomed that, into the party. That, yeah, that's interesting that because it was the White House press perspective, that looking yeah. at the national political scene and all. Larry Temple, uh, general counsel for LBJ after he ascended to the presidency and also was a close trusted aide uh, to uh, Governor Connolly. You were working here, um, primarily heading up the Texas planning for the event in that regard. Uh, does this fence mending fit the total picture? Well, you know, the uh, conspiracy theories about the assassination seem to be endless, and every time I turn around, there seem to be more and more myths uh, about the trip. The trip clearly was political, there's no question about that. But uh, one of the uh, myths, and I have a respectful disagreement with Sid, uh, is that the reason for the trip was that President uh, Kennedy wanted to come down here and mend the fences in the Democratic Party and see if he could reconcile the John Conley, Lyndon Johnson wing with the Ralph Yarbrough wing. Uh, and that was uh, a myth that's been perpetuated. The plain, simple fact is it was to be a p political trip one, for fundraising, and two, to get around the state so the president could lay the uh, base for a 64 election campaign. President Kennedy uh, had been wanting to have a fundraiser or multiple fundraisers in Texas uh, apparently since 1962, and they talked to John Conley about that, and uh, the governor had kind of pushed him back a little bit, saying it's a little too early. Uh, your popularity is not at a stage right now that serves your best interest, why don't we wait until early 64 uh, to uh, have the fundraiser? Uh, and President Kennedy kept pushing back on uh, Governor Conley's pushback. And in June of 1963, uh, Governor Conley was in El Paso and met with uh, President Kennedy and Vice President Johnson. And while I was on that trip, I wasn't in the room when the conversation took place, but uh, he reported that President Kennedy said, John, we've got to have the trip and the fundraiser. You've got to commit to do it. And uh, he did. Uh, Governor Connolly said, okay, if that's what you want to do and now's the time, uh, we will do it. And President Kennedy initially wanted to have five fundraisers, one in Houston, one in San Antonio, one in Dallas, one in Fort Worth, and one in Austin. And uh, John Connolly said, no, uh, don't look like you're trying to come down here to rape the state, and he, that was the term he used. Uh, you need to come down and have the people think you really you care about the state and you want the votes. So that was when the decision was made to have the single fundraising dinner here in Austin on the night of November 22, and then have the other parts of the trip that Sid just talked about and Julian and Ben can tell about more uh, detail of San Antonio, Houston, Fort Worth, Dallas before coming here. But it, it was a, there's nothing wrong with having a political fundraising uh, trip. That, that's the nature of politics. Uh, but it wasn't uh, a trip to uh, heal the wounds. As uh, John Conley said, if he wanted to heal the wounds between LBJ and Ralph Yarbrough, they were a few blocks from the White House. All he had to do was go over there and uh, the governor also said if he thought he uh, uh, could heal the disagreement between Senator Yarbrough and me, uh, he, that would be a bit fanciful, and uh, even the president didn't think he could do that. Uh, so uh, it was a uh, political trip, one for fundraising, two uh, to get around the state and try to generate popularity as a predicate to the election. 